Hey guys, welcome to Hugga Bug. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool kids crocheted scarf. And it's super easy, it's perfect for beginners. And I started making kids scarves because I couldn't find any in the store for my kids. I could find hats and gloves, but not the scarves. So um, I made this pattern using a variety of yarns I had lying around and I have big blocks and little blocks just using three colors. So I'm going to show you step by step how to make a scarf just like this. But if you want to change it up, I think that's perfectly fine. Anything that brings your personality into a scarf makes it beautiful. So um, I think that's it. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be making a scarf just using a variety of colors I have lying around. So I don't know if you can see this, but it asks you to use a 5.5 millimeter crocheting hook. Okay, so I'm just tying off my slip knot. So I have the end in my left hand, the long piece in my right hand, and I'm just tying it over a few fingers and pulling a little loop through, and that's a slip knot. And it's a flexible knot. So I'm going to go ahead and crochet 15. There you go. And then we're going to start doing the single crochet stitch. So I am currently in this stitch. So my next stitch over, and you always work right to left, so I'm going to be going into the stitch right here. And when I do the single crochet stitch, I pick up two pieces of yarn. So if you can see, there's kind of a braided appearance that appears, and it will be more noticeable once you're off the first row. But you want to pick up the two pieces on that braid. And then take the yarn, cross it over, and pull it through those two pieces. Same thing with the second time. And that creates your single crochet stitch. So just keep moving down the line to the next one over. Again, I'm picking up two, crossing this yarn over, pulling it underneath those two crossing the yarn over and pulling underneath those two. And if you haven't ever made a scarf, it does help you to really get used to doing a particular stitch. Same goes for if you make a blanket or a hat, anything where you're doing the same stitch for a while you get the hang of it. And when you get to the end, there is almost like a funny little loop you have to do. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm always counting as I'm going. And you want to make sure that you actually do 15 stitches. Otherwise, you're not going to have as wide of a scarf as you need. So kind of count along. Sometimes you have to fit it in somehow. So this is 15 across, and I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of rows of the green, and I'm going to switch off and do a whole new color. So 
So I want to point out right here, you can see the braid is more apparent on the second row. So just when you go through, pick up those two pieces off the braid, cross the yarn over, pull it underneath, cross the yarn over, and pull it underneath. So I have done 10 rows and this is what it should look like. I'm ready to change to a new color. So I want to show you how to change the color of the yarn. Okay, so I clipped the yarn and I'm tying it off. Just create a little loop and tie a little knot. So again, I just do my little slip knot. And when you're going back into the material, just start at the very far end. And this is where you really want to make sure that you're counting to 15 to make sure that you're still doing the same number of stitches. Because when you change the color of yarn, it's very easy to start to add or drop stitches. So I just went through that last piece. And now I'm going to start working from right to left. So the next stitch I'm going to go through is the one right here. Directly to the left of where I went through the first time. So in my pattern, I am doing a block of 10 and then two rows, and then another block of 10, and then two rows. All right, so now it's time to tie off the white yarn, and I'm gonna go to purple next. And at the very end of all of this, I am going to show you how to hide all of these tails so that they're not sticking out of your scarf. All right, so I want to make sure that we're all on the right track. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've been doing. So I've been alternating in the same order where it's green, white, purple, green, white, purple. And I did 10 rows of green two rows of white, 10 rows of purple, and then for the next green, I do two rows. For the next white, I do 10 rows. So I'm alternating between 10 rows and just two rows. And then I do two rows of purple and then start the whole process over again. So this is the finished scarf. It should look something like this. And as you can see, I've done four sets of this block. So the last thing I'm doing is hiding my tails in my work and I like to just go through randomly picking um, a couple of loops here and there. I like to pick more than one. Let me show you what I'm doing. But you can see it's more than one and I'm pulling my tails through and that's because it holds the tail better than just going through one loop. So feel free to zigzag around, go in a circle, whatever keeps this in pretty tight. The other thing that you want to do is just make sure wherever you're pulling in your tails, it, the tail corresponds to the color that you're pulling it into. So for example, you wouldn't want to pull this into the green because that wouldn't look right, then your stripes start to disappear. So pull it into the purple and I'm just picking up another clump and pulling this tail through. Some people like to use a crochet needle to do this, but normally when I'm crocheting, I'm chasing after my kids and I'm struggling to keep a hold of whatever is in my hand anyway, so just using the crocheting hook makes it easier. There's one less thing I have to carry around the house. Um, so I think that's it. Um, just do this until your scarf is done. And that is how you make this really neat scarf. 
So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you are looking for more really cool crafting ideas, check out hookabug.com. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.